Hello everybody, I am Mr. Hamlin. And I'm Miss Andrews. And together we are Hamdrews. Uh, your scholar may have mentioned to you that they are either a Hamlin scholar or an Andrews scholar, but uh, when they work with both of us every day, we call ourselves Hamdrews scholars because um, we work together to be the best scholar that we can be. And hopefully your scholar, your child, has told you a little bit about what being a scholar in our classroom entails. But we wanted to kind of give our, um, our perspective as the teachers um, on what to expect as a parent in our classrooms this year. Yes. So Mr. Hamlin and I are both um, Gator fans. We both graduated <laughs> um, with our bachelor's and our master's degrees from the University of Florida and we've been teaching um, in Gainesville or in Wesley Chapel or around the Tampa area since then. Um, Some of us are older than others. <laughs> but we still but, rep the orange and blue. Yes. And so this year, uh, one of the biggest things, if even if you're not a Gator fan, that's okay. Uh, we appreciate all, all walks of life and all colleges. You can still be our friend. And we, one of our biggest attributes that we're going to focus on this year is the growth mindset. Yes. And your scholar hopefully has talked a little bit about what that entails. But if they haven't, that's okay. That's what we're here to talk about. And so this year, hopefully your scholar is going to feel a little bit of a struggle. And we're hoping to push them outside their comfort zone as we get them ready for middle school. And so we have lots of standards we have to teach in math and science and reading and writing and social studies, but um, school is a lot more than just learning some of those things. And so we want to make sure that we prep them for life with some skills on working with people, working with mm -hmm. one another, um, and being able to collaborate with one another, and also mm -hmm. being able to set goals and push themselves. When things get easy, we don't want to just lay back and, and not try to push ourselves. Mm -hmm. We want to go deeper and further. So we're going to be working on that this year. And we know that learning begins at the end of our comfort zone. And so that's what we're going to be pushing our scholars to do. And so we would love your support and uh, being a cheerleader and not a hero and making sure that we are embracing the struggle and embracing the process and the progress that we see and not just the perfection or the A, or, um, but we're definitely rewarding um, effort and growth. We're looking for progress, not perfection. We'll yes. get there eventually. We know that we're still early in the year. Yes. Um, we have goals, but some of those goals will meet at the end of the year. And we believe in the power of yet. yet. The beautiful three-letter word. Um, that being said, we do love our scholars dearly as scholars and as individuals. And so um, we cherish the relationships that we build with your family, um, the parents, uh, the siblings, and the scholar. And so that's a lot of what we focus on in the classroom as well. Um, you'll see that we greet them with handshakes, whether it's a formal handshake and a good morning, Mr. Hamlin, good morning, Ms. Sanders, how are you? As we teach interpersonal skills um, that they're gonna need in the professional world. Um, while we also do handshakes just to be a friendly hello or a hug or whatever they feel comfortable with to know that we're um, cheering them on and on their side. We also have some chants and some songs that hopefully you've seen on our Facebook pages or your scholar has shared with you. And um, as we work on those interpersonal skills, we try to push people out of their comfort zone, <laughs> our scholars. Uh, they might be a little timid at first mm -hmm. and they just need a boost of confidence in being able to speak up. And so sometimes your scholar may feel like they're being pushed too much, but that's kind of where we have to grow now mm -hmm. so that they're ready for, ready for the future. Mm -hmm. And so communication is going to be key, and um, we rely a lot, as we're working together with the 47 scholars that we have, we have to communicate together, but we also have to communicate with you to make sure that you know um, everything that's going on and the expectations. And so if you ever need to get a hold of us, um, email is the best way. It's, we mm -hmm. have that available all day long. Um, our Facebook pages are our way to push information, pictures, and videos out to you, um, but email is going to be the best way to actually get messages to us yes, yes and we cherish your communication so please let us know um, anything and everything that is going on so that we can best serve your scholar we have a quote that we um, try live to embody. by yeah try to embody each week 
And so right now the teachers are choosing them, but eventually the scholars will choose them. And this is called Keep the Quote. And it's a quote uh, based on a character trait that uh, the, sc the scholars work to embody throughout the week. And then the scholars and the teachers, we look and we notice who is embodying that quote best. And then on Friday, we decide who gets to keep that quote, who kept the quote that entire week. Um, and we have a classroom celebration celebrating that person and the character trait that they embodied, the quote that they embodied. And um, it's a great way to teach character traits. It's a great learning uh, opportunity. And then it's also a really great way to empower scholars chase goals throughout the week. chase goals, yeah. yeah. So that being said, um, we appreciate your time and if you have any questions or you'd like to schedule a conference, there's going to be a link uh, right next or below next to um, this video so that you can meet with us in person. We would love to talk about your scholar's growth and any dreams that you have for your scholar or that your scholar has for themselves and what uh, scaffolds or processes that we can put into place to challenge your scholar appropriately this year. So thanks so much. Uh, go Gators. Go Gators. And we look forward to working with you.